Hey guys, um, I am so excited to show you some of the stuff that we have gotten over the past couple of days and the week. Um, the week that we were stuck in town, we actually tried to use it to our advantage to get some stuff done and to find some stuff that we'd been looking for. Um, I ended up getting a sewing machine, which I am so excited about. Um, the belt just got delivered to my mom's house. So I'll show you guys some pictures of that and kind of talk to you about it. Um, and then I also managed to get a Conservo um, steam canner which I'm going to show you guys right now. It needs to be cleaned, but um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a look at it and it kind of explain how it works. So let's take a peek. Okay, guys, this is the Conservo canner. Um, this actually kind of revolutionized the world of canning and it was pretty great during the Great Depression. It cost about $12, which was a lot back then, but what it could save you in the long run was amazing. Um, it is made of tin, and then the bottom is made of copper. Um, and it was designed so that it would fit on a single burner, any kind, electric, gas, wood, coal. We're going to use it on my outside oven. Um, these were made so that as little heat as possible would escape so it wouldn't warm your house up too much. And what you do is, on top, there is a tube and this is where you put the water. And when you put the water in it, um, it goes down into the copper basin that holds a couple quarts of water. Um, and you just slide your cans in. This also can work as a steamer in a regular oven, which is awesome. Um, it has two shelves and it can do 32 one pint cans um, in 90 minutes. The shelves can also be moved so that you can do half gallon and gallons. The other thing that you do is that once you have your water in and you have it going, you take this little piece right here, this slides on, and when you start to run out of water in your basin, that whistles at you so that you know it's time to refill it. Um, this was one of those products during the depression that, you know, if one family couldn't afford it, all the neighbors would go in together to raise the $12 and when it was canning season, you would either just all go to one person's house or they would pass it back and forth to each other. Um, these are amazing if you can get your hands on them. They are kind of hard to find. Um, I found mine at an, an antique store in Guthrie. Um, I paid $120 for it, but the man who owned the store, he has ran this antique store for 30 years. This is only the second one he has ever seen come through. So, if you find one, snatch it up. It is amazing. It is such a lifesaver. Um, and you can still get online and find the original um, user manual for it that has instructions. It has recipes. It's amazing. And when it's time to take it off of the um, heat, it has handles that have wood on it. So, you can just flip your handles up, grab it, and go. Um, and then let your cans cool down along with the oven. This is by far probably one of the best purchases I have ever made. Here is the sewing machine that we found. Um, I found it on Facebook Marketplace for $75. It is a 1912-27 model. Um, it is the Sphinx model, which is also um, known as Memphis Egyptian. Um, as you can see, it's in really rough shape, but the good thing about these is that they made them for them to be repaired, not for you to have to purchase new. So they're really easy to take care of and to um, restore so that they are working. It's also easy to find parts for. Um, I, this is one of the greatest finds I have made. Um, and sometimes you get surprises when you buy stuff like this. Um, the lady that I bought this from said it was just a sewing machine. And she didn't, she wasn't sure, what, you know, how to find the attachments or anything else for it. And I told her it was fine, not a big deal. Um, and then when I got there, she had checked the drawers. And inside one of the drawers was all the attachments and the original box. It was such a surprise and such a blessing for it to be there. And I cannot wait to show you guys how we restore this. I hope this video helps to inspire you guys to get out there, see what you can find. Um, and you would also be surprised that when you talk to people, um, how much they're willing to help. One of the ladies at the one of the antique stores in Guthrie, um, she asked if we were looking anything in particular, were we collectors? And then I explained to her how we lived and some of the stuff that I was looking for. And she 
said, you know, hold on, let me get paper. And she went and grabbed a piece of paper and started making a list of things that we need to be able to live this lifestyle. And she said that, you know, it's kind of hit or miss when things come in. But if I was willing to come back once a month, she would have stuff set aside for me in the back that I could go through, pull out what I wanted or what I could afford. And the rest would go on the floor and she would be able to sell anyways. Either way, she's going to sell it. But the fact that she's willing to go that extra step makes my job 10 times easier. And you would be surprised how many of them are willing to do that. Another one of the ladies in one of the stores, when I explained to her, you know, what I was doing, she said, oh my gosh, come back in tell me how this goes. I want to help. I want to see the progress. I want to be a part of this. People really get excited about something like this that they can connect with even if they aren't doing it themselves. So I really encourage you guys, go out, find antique stores, talk to people, talk to some of the older folks who might not have lived this way, but their mom's dead, their grandma's dead. Um, I cannot tell you how many stories my grandpa would tell me about life during the Great Depression um, and the things that he saw and the way that they had to make things work. Um, and that's really where we can get a lot of our knowledge from because we're losing that knowledge quickly. Um, but like I said, I really hope that this inspires you guys to get out there, look, see what you can find, talk to people. Let me see what you guys find. Show me, you know, the different treasures that you discover. And also let me know about the stories that you guys hear. Those help me just as much as they help you. So um, it looks like we are getting ready to have a storm come in. Story of my life, it seems that's what I'm saying to you guys all the time. Um, so I am going to get off of here so that I can finish getting my stuff ready. But until I get to talk to you again, I hope you guys are being safe and I hope you're making smart decisions. Bye guys.